the referee was in to stop the fight. So a huge knockout victory for that fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight. That one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy. We go to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee. All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy, that didn't begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. A vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck. Doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change positions to secure top. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll, he'll change his stance. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Big fall punch lands. Now he gets back to range. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Nate Diaz. Connection there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the feet, DC. No, because it's all downhill with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponent, and this looks like the start of that. Oh, you got to love this. He is coming out swinging early. No surprise, the aggression on full display. No, he said he was going to take it to this guy that is exactly what he's doing as he starts his fight. Well, he's looking for that left hand just out of range, though, with it. Trouble now. They say the straight ones are the ones that get there first, and it got right to the party. Diaz's shot is blocked. Oh, yes, it is a lost start in mixed martial arts. Not just the jab, but the double jab. Oh. Didn't like that left hand. He's got him hurt here. He is getting lit up right now, John. Trying to establish that jab once again. Twenty seconds to go. Back and forth we go. Pettis gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Round two is next. All right, DC, let's look at some of the highlights from the last round. Lots for the replay guys to choose from. Yeah, man, these guys stood on a quarter in the middle of the octagon. Take one to give one. Over and over, each guy landed, and they both landed very well over the course of that first round. Round two now, Nate Diaz versus Anthony Pettis. So a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. 
48 total strikes have already landed for Nate Diaz. Well, not this fighter's most accurate effort to date necessarily, DC, landing with 33% accuracy here against Anthony Pettis. Oh, nice connection with that punch. It's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another to take advantage. Nicely done. Just out of range with that left hook. Three minutes and change to go in round two. Well, no surprise as he connects once again, and that looked like a land right on that. Cut. Right on the cut. Almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much to keep making a split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second oh. round. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Just misses there with the left. Nice kick. Pettis' lower jaw does not look good. I don't think it's broken, but starting to show some obvious signs of swell. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations tonight. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just missed with the left there. Big punch lands over the top. I'll just gonna follow this one. Well, he can. Whoa! Huge result. We set it inside the octagon. 